Gotcha. What's up guys, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics, for now. Real quick, I want to talk about these new policies that YouTube's about to put in place that specifically targets gun content. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below that would take you to the Gun Collectives video so you can get educated on it. I'm also going to urge you to contact YouTube and let them know how you feel about these new gun policies. So when this happens, it's probably going to be the end of gun content as you know it on YouTube. And there's a good chance that gun channels are going to start getting deleted, including Kentucky Ballistics. At the end of the video, I always ask you to follow us on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Well, if you're not already following us on one of those platforms, I'm going to ask you to pause the video right now and go follow us. Because when this happens, Kentucky Ballistics is going to continue on. We're going to keep making videos. It just won't be on this platform. And I'm going to need a way to let you know what the next step is. Now, for today's video, we're doing 338 Lapua versus 50 BMG in Ballistic Gel. I'm really excited about today's video. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. I just didn't want to shoot my gel with a 50 BMG. Well, now I have some new gel. We have two new blocks of 10% ballistics gel made by Clear Ballistics, and we're going to shoot those blocks with the 338 Lapua. Then we're going to shoot my older blocks that are discolored and that I don't really care about as much anymore with the 50 BMG. The firearms we're going to use in today's video are a Savage 111 Long Range Hunter chambered in 338 Lapua and a Serbu RN50 chambered in 50 BMG. The ammo we're using in today's video was sent to us by Double Tap. For the 338 Lapua, we have a 265 grain Barnes LRX. And for the 50 BMG, we have a 750 grain Hornady AMAX match. In my recent ballistic gel videos, I've been shooting our ammunition through a chronograph so we can get a more accurate reading. Well, I really did not want to do that in today's video because 338 Lapua and 50 BMG is not the cheapest ammunition out there. But I figure since we're being semi-scientific and shooting ballistic gel, why not this one time for today's video? I took three shots with the 338 Lapua and the 50 BMG. I'm not going to make you set through all six shots, but real quick, I do want to show you my first shot with the 50 BMG. When it hits the berm, dirt flies everywhere, and you can hear it hitting my vehicle in the background. So for the 50 BMG 750 grain Hornady AMAX match, we had an average of 2,831 feet per second. And for the 338 Lapua 265 grain Barnes LRX, we had an average of 3,140 feet per second. I will leave the advertised ballistics and the chronograph readings in the description down below. Now let's see what kind of results we get. Okay guys, we got everything set up. Let's start out with the 338 Lapua. <laughs> I thought we hit the table, but we didn't. Just the force from the round broke the table. Uh, that happens quite a bit. We've gone through quite a few tables. <laughs> you figure I'd learn my lesson. So the 338 Lapua went through all 32 inches of ballistic gel and then hit our backstop there. And here's your view from the top. And what was most impressive was the fact that it picked up both of those blocks and threw them up in the air. That was, 
That was pretty impressive. That takes a lot of energy to do that. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see what happens when we hit this gel with our 50 BMG at pretty much point blank range. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So one of our blocks got kicked up in the air and landed on our backstop. And that's exactly why I used this old gel for the 50 BMG. The second reason I used the old gel is because this block has been pretty much destroyed. The force from the round shoved this piece of metal through our plastic table. Look at this wound channel. And because we used a hollow point, the bullet did not make it all the way through the gel. It broke up all inside that gel and just transferred all of its energy, which you saw because that block got kicked like a football. So the bullet entered here. And you can see it traveled just a little bit and then it opened up. And when it opened up, it did some damage. Look at this. Normally it's just a little hole in the front and then there's a little hole in the back. <laughs> Not this. Look at this damage. This block is nearly ripped in half. Check that out. That is crazy. You can see the bullet continued on, but it had broken up so much that it didn't have enough to make it all the way through the block. That bullet just shredded inside that gel. Very impressive. Well, if you're hunting elk or moose, I'd say go with 338 Lapua. But if you're hunting, I don't know, Bigfoot, Godzilla, King Kong, Tactical T-Rex, I'd say use 50 BMG. <laughs> well, that's it for today. I definitely had a lot of fun making today's video. I cannot believe how high that ballistic gel block went when we hit it with the 50 BMG. A special thanks to Double Tap Ammunition for supplying us with the ammo used in today's video. Guys, for today's question, I want to know if someone was going to give you a 338 Lapua or a 50 BMG free of charge, which one would you choose? If you enjoyed today's video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that little bell at the top. It's going to give you notifications when we upload new videos. Be sure and check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Don't forget, every time you purchase a shirt or a sweatshirt, not only do you support the channel, but you're also supporting the Telva Hollow Project and their cause. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check that out. And just like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, be sure and follow us on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Again, my name is Scott. You've been watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.